comedy and they must be doing something right as two hearts and now Billy T award nominees and they're up against four others and they're here to tell us why they should win or actually they're here to tell us about the awards a very warm welcome <laughs> Laura you. Joseph Woo! yes Great to have you on the show. I Thank have you. seen the show and it is deserving of winning this award because I absolutely oh, loved thanks, it. Mike. No, you haven't seen good. the other shows though. <laughs> no. They could all be way better. <laughs> Definitely be a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Laura, I'll start with you. Is it true you've ditched your solo comedy careers uh, to become a serious pop music duo? Because that's quite serious. It is completely true, yeah. It's pretty yes. much, yeah, that's, that's, that's the... We, we're, we're, we've, we've actually been working together like kind of behind the scenes for a long time now, so yes. a few years, and then <laughs> yeah, we can't do it. <laughs> have it all no English. <laughs> uh, but no, but we, we we make all the songs and the on um, Funny Girls and stuff, and so then we tr decide to oh we work better live together. So <laughs> and it works. Oh, it's yeah. great. We're I just, laughed, loved it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. This is no there's no um there's no money in, in comedy, so we we decided to become pop, pop stars yes. instead. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So they're also rich pop stars. And we decided to become a duo because we like to get less money. You so. want to share money. <laughs> we like to split everything that we make. Um. So how on earth did you come up with it? Because it's got everything I love. Good pop songs, sexy people, and oh some... Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> it's <a> really <laughs> good band. It means the backup uh, Yeah, the dancers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> so how did you come up with that? What were you doing? Were you sitting around having a drink? Were you... Um, I think we, we we went to a lot of shows together at um, Spark Arena or the you know the big shows because they're just they're kind of comedy in themselves. Watching those giant because they just have to come up with the most ridiculous things yes. just to justify you spending one hundred and eighty dollars or whatever going to see those big shows. So it was like yeah. Selena Gomez, all the dancers were on moon hoppers, yeah. <laughs> just like hop, hopping around, and we were watching this like why. How is this person getting paid lots of money to do this? Surely we can do like a funny version of this. So yeah, our, our dream is to do that. Yeah. Uh, we can't, can't charge $180 yet ourselves. Yeah, so we are sinking money into yeah. this. <laughs> we're, we're more around the 25 30 range. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the show itself, so you're up for uh, awards together, but you've both been nominated before separately. Yeah. yeah. You didn't win, though. No. no. Yeah, and awards and comedy aren't always a great thing because comedy is subjective, isn't it? So even though we are going for another one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if you, win, it. if you win, of course, you'll be amazing and well yeah. deserved. Right? Well, yeah, we both gave yeah. it a go, couldn't do it, and we thought, what if we oh, teamed up? Yeah. <laughs> Make it way easier. It was all a ruse. So are you quite competitive? Yeah, because I know you're a unit in more ways than one. <laughs> you can do you say that together. Do you know what I'm doing? It sounded wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but, you know, are you competitive, you know, individually? With each other or, like, yeah. against other people? No, with each other. <laughs> no, not with each other, because we're we're definitely a, like a team, but we've both got um, like competitive sides. Oh no, no, sorry. Yeah, we play we play board games against each other to like kind mm. of chill out. Yeah, um, and it gets very it's deeply, com deeply competitive. <laughs> yeah, have you play, really have what you, you play, do. Have you played ticket, yeah. ticket to Ride? No. no. You, you make trains on a map. Yeah. <laughs> it's riveting. What I'm trying to say is we've lost all our friends. <laughs> we put all our time into our work and then to chill out, we play Ticket to Ride to ticket on to the ride. internet. Yeah. It sounds Losers. riveting. Yeah. 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 Of Actually, yeah. I want to ask that. So you, you work together, you yeah. live together, you're together, and then you play, obviously, Ticket to Ride. But um, <laughs> do, what do you talk about outside of like, your ticket work? Ticket to Ride. Do you, really? just, <laughs> <laughs> do you just talk comedy gags all the time? How is it? Um. Oh, you have to just shut up for a while and yeah. just not just kind of sit in your sit in the silence. <laughs> <laughs> you try and it becomes too much. Like one outdo each other on the jokes, though. You know, like a gag can never stop. You just like keep going. You take gags pretty far, don't you? Yeah, I'll, I'll ruin a gag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and have you always been as musical as what I've seen you display when I watch the show? Because you're quite the genius with oh. your computer and oh, your thanks, beats. Thanks, and well, you don't know, I just press play. You, who knows what? <laughs> but no, yeah. And yeah, let's not that. forget who brings the talent to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Laura does all the singing, which is the far like easier thing to show on stage that oh, you're good okay. at it. So, oh. The beats, you know, they take a lot of effort uh, uh, in advance. Yeah, um, I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I uh, oh gosh, 
No, no is the answer. I have to, I've had to learn a lot, a lot of YouTube tutorials and things uh, yeah. to kind of get better at that. What's often happened is we'll have like a um, a song we want to sound like that's out in the top 40 at the moment. And yeah. we're like, can you make a song that sounds like this? And we'll be like, yep. And they'll be like researching all the tutorials on exactly how they made that sound. And, um, and try yeah. to copy their style, but then change it enough so we're not, <laughs> we're not breaching any copyright. <laughs> copyright. Um, yeah. and, and we're just looking on the video there. Um, there's some serious dance moves going mm. on. On, guys. Is, yeah. yeah. So did did you train with like you know Paris or Gable or? Oh, yeah. Oh, we yeah. asked. Um, Better. <laughs> yeah. Better than Paris. We've got my flatmate Zara. Yeah. Uh, but she's actually. Who uh, was free? I'm guessing. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, we we you pay her. Paid her. Oh. Like you know and. We like, paid her very minimal, <laughs> but not as much as she's worth. Well, she's Bring your mates to the show. Uh, yeah. Though, she's incredible. Yeah. She's a dance teacher and she mainly teaches like little. Kids, like you know, she's like a dance mom's kind of yeah. teacher, but uh, she um, she got to kind of go full noise sexy with us and our dancers, which you can't do with children, obviously. So, yeah. <laughs> and where did you find the male dancers from? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I bribed them. Yeah. <laughs> Grinder. Um. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, and the Billy T Award, you know, clearly that's a prestigious award. Mm. You know, what would it mean if you won it? Oh, it's it's. A, so it's an iconic award in the in the comedy yeah. industry anyway. Like every everyone that has won it in the past is we you know look up to and mm -hmm. so it'll be, it'll be awesome in that in that regard. Yeah. And just with the name Billy T attached to it, you know, it's a so, yeah, and we've just been working on making two hearts more of like a known that we are a um a comedy duo, so it's I guess it would just help in terms of everyone would know that uh yeah. Any plans to tour this around the world? Yeah. Because I reckon it would go off. Oh, well, yeah. tell, tell your friends in, um, in, Mel in Melbourne and Scotland. Uh, we're coming this year. Everywhere else, who knows? So we're going uh, to Melbourne in a week. Yeah. <laughs> then we're going, well, we're going to Melbourne. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, Edinburgh later in the year. So. Yeah, over in August to Edinburgh. Nice so. way. And I thoroughly recommend it. If you have not seen the show, you've got to get along and see it. You might have to go to Melbourne, though, by the sounds of it. But, and, so, um, and, yeah. um, well, and good luck with the Billy T Award. Yeah. 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 You've got some stiff competition there, and I'm, yeah. I think they're friends of yours as well, aren't they? So, they're all uh, friends, so we can't friends. be mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. yeah, they're all celebrate. friends, they're all enemies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so 2018 Billy T nominees will perform their one hour shows at the New Zealand International Comedy Festival from April 26th. Final performances and the award presentation will happen at Last Laughs on Sunday, the 20th of May. Check it out. Yeah, good luck, guys. Thanks for coming in. <laughs>